Hey, welcome to round three with this um, Bunt Infect deck, or Paladin, Faraxian Paladins, I guess, <laughs> something like that. Um, we won Dyro again, so that's great. And yeah, let's see if we can make this one a, this a quick one. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. We don't have a lot of interaction, so we have to hope our opponent isn't doing uh, broken stuff, or stuff that stops us, or anything, basically. <laughs> like this bet against creatures, removal, and not great against Chalice or... Nah, it's probably good enough against combo decks. It's, it's pretty fast. But uh, because I have enough infect creatures, I'm just gonna ru run this out there and not wait for my snakeskin veil. And just uh, try and kill him on turn two, just draw like something. Uh, not a pump spell or something. If not, we, we can just play a slower game as well, of course. Do you force a will? This is good for us. Since it slows us down, but we didn't have to turn two anyway, and we have a lot of creatures, so now we can Nexus and Agent. Ooh, and there and that shadows I that shadow I believe. Um now the question is whether we want to run into a daze, and I think that's fine here. Because we have the protection for the Nexus if they daze this one. Um I don't I think the rough the rough thing here is if they have wasteland and push. Or something like that. I think this is fine. The only question is whether we want to run into days next turn. Okay, so this is pretty good. I um, think I'm gonna run out this savannah here, or I could hide to them. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm just, just gonna try and get and get the, the the damage in while I can. It's not the perfect opportunity, but it, uh, it's something. All right, we got the six points in here. Now let's hope they don't have a plague engineer. Though we can like make it survive through a plague engineer, but it still wouldn't be too happy with it. Yeah. Next turn I'll attack with both since I can still play this through a uh, daze. Uh, now I'll just. So the question is, do I put a? Counter on the agent or on the nexus? I think on the agent to play around the days. And then that resolves. They see that I have jack shit, as we call it. Okay, good card. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Those are not good ones. Um, I'm definitely just gonna run it into whatever they have. I don't have Leto here either way. Like, uh, if I attack with just just this one, it's still just three. So I'm gonna attack with both. That way, I'm most likely to get damage in. They know my defenses are down now, but I think this is still uh, putting on the best pressure. Oh, so there are nine now. Okay, so is this the post damage removal being afraid of invigorate? Could be. I don't think this is a spot. Now. Okay, I don't. Uh, I was gonna say I don't think this is a spot where I play around uh, around invigorate. All right, got there against what I I think is Grixis Shadow. Could be a budget option, but I think there's just Gre Grixis Shadow, uh, which means that Filsomer should protect against some of their remote uh, interaction. I think I'm gonna board against them like I would against Delver. Uh, the only question is whether Blue Elemental Blast is good enough against them. So I bring in this entire pile and then 
maybe Endurance, maybe Blue Mental Blast. Those I would bring in against Delver, but they are a lot worse here since they don't. They are. They probably have less three power creatures and more big creatures and less red creatures and less red removal spells. So I usually don't bring in the Silver Library just because it's too clunky. And what I then do is take out a bunch of the two for ones. Uh, on the draw, I'm not too big a fan of days, and then I take out the sorcery spell and the berserk. It's only good. Uh, I went paired with other cards, and there we have it. I think this is how I want to do it. I don't think the blue elemental blast or endurance uh, are cards I want just in the blind. Could support them in if uh, if I see a lot of red cards, if, if or if I do see a lot of like uh, dragon race channelers and delvers now. Ooh, no blue. That's uh, this is not a hand that I can keep without blue. So definitely gonna mulligan that. I'm gonna keep this. It's not great. Um, gonna get rid of one of the lands. I don't think I can mulligan this, but it's also not something I'm very happy with. Okay, getting thought seized. Um. They could take the agent, but they should probably just take the brainstorm because my hand is so weak. But the postboard games are mo probably mostly about uh, having enough removal for everything. So the question here is, do I just run out drop island so I can brainstorm next turn into reinforced, or just want to punish them for if they do tap out? You know what? I'm gonna do it like this. Like if they do tap, tap out, I would love to put them on nine nine poison. Just hope they don't have a snuff out. They know I don't really have anything except for the one invigorate, so th there's a pretty okay chance that they just uh, tap out for like a threat here. Of course, if they keep man up, I yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna play drop by and then pass. There's no reason to get greedy here. Or at least not more greedy than I'm already being. So I board in the Caracas against Delver um, for multiple reasons. One is that I just want more white sources uh, because I'm bringing in all the source of shares and another Paladin class and stuff like that. Um, it's also because it's just a decent card to stop a Ragavan from taking over a game. Um, so this is interesting. I could brainstorm here for Force Will and Blue Card or Days. Uh, I don't have my Force Wills anymore and only have two Days left. So here I think it's just better to let it resolve and try and find a Source Explosures. Or maybe a Paladin class, but Source Explosures is definitely what, I, what I'm looking for here. I'm guessing par action. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, it used to be a decision, but uh, now it's pretty easy. A third invigorate. I mean, it's our, the best card for strategy. It's just not always the best card to draw. So I can't kill the mister. <laughs> I would love to, but I can't. Um, I don't think I need the Caracas. And I think I'll just... Uh, I can put back one of the lands or one of the invigorates. Mm. I think keeping the option to shuffle after my ponder is important enough that I want to do it like this. And I am going to do it now, since they do have enough mana to hard cast um, Force of Negation. Right. So getting rid of the Invigorate does mean that I don't have a Lito if they tap out, but uh, with so many lands in play, I think it's unlikely that they tap out. And I just need more business spells, basically. Alright. Glisten Elf, Inkman, Nexus, or So uh, this, this is good enough, certainly. It's not great, but uh, I think I'm gonna, just going to play the Elf, and I think I want the... Uh, 
next next turn the question is if I let them use their mana here I think I do okay, I'm gonna play the elf first to see if there's a reason I might want to shuffle I'm gonna run this out to keep the option to draw the cards I have on top or not. I will counter a lightning bolt with invigorate, but or code against command. Yeah. I mean they still get a two for one out of it, but I don't really care about the drop card there. I still think this game is just about having creatures. So I'm just gonna invigorate again. It's not a good use of my invigorates. Well, it's a decent use of my invigorates, I think. So I gotta remember Inkpot Nexus on top. So I don't have a pump spell on top or anything like that. And don't have a. Uh... Alright. They're looking at my library, and they're gonna see Inkwell Nexus. Which is something they got to probably want to put on the bottom, but I'm gonna let them make that decision. Put the card on the bottom, okay. And now I don't want to draw the source of here, so I'm definitely just gonna fetch here. gonna take them gonna try and take, get this game over with and I'm not gonna stop them uh, from being able to brainstorm anyway but so their um, their Grixis control apparently with some uh, budget options though I think on Magical Line the uh, volcanic levels have increased in price uh, I was like I don't think the, the difference is that big but these days it's that's a bit, a bit more of a difference, I think. Since all the shocklands are very cheap these days. Alright, it's also annoying. Let's hope they just brick or something. Force will, okay. I don't care too much about that. Um, so what I think I'm going to do here is... Attack them for one with my worst creature and not set for one with my well uh, with my better creature and not set for one with my worst creature. I'm fine with them getting another minus two off as long as it costs them their Narset. Um so the question here is if I play the listener elf or try uh, and insulate myself from um from Plague Engineer, but I, uh, I think I just have to do this. And hope they don't have it. They get to see a lot of cards, so I'm probably just screwed, but... Alright, so they lost it first, so... It means they can't clear the top of their, uh, their brainstorm. But if they're just digging for the best cards, this might be better. The amount of cards I've been drawing, I'm probably just screwed. <laughs> but uh, not uh, with this board state, I'm, I'm not just randomly giving up. Alright, just another Culligan's command. People told me this deck didn't, didn't exist anymore. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's just take them. It's not gonna work, of course. They're just gonna push. I can't like attack with my hierarch as well, since that will just have no power. So, 
<clears throat> so we're pretty dead. But at least we're no, we know what we're playing against now. And it's not good for us. <laughs> Grixis control is basically a pile of cheap removal and card advantage. So. But, uh, I think historically it was one of the worst matchups of Infect. And it was before Plague Engineer just got everything. Oh, it's something. So they're brainstorming every turn and have a hard cast for show up. They don't have to create a push in order. They're gonna get another cut against command. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna give this one no uh, no reason to keep playing this. I think. Um, so the source of plosives aren't as great as I would have hoped. I have a couple of creatures, but not really stuff I care about too much. Though I haven't seen anything I want to ending either. Maybe a Narset, but... So, Plow is probably better than that, but I think... I just have to go harder. I have to put in Silver Library. And... The Blue Elemental Blast. And then there's a chance I want some Force of Wills. Um... No, I'm gonna do it like this. It's, it's not great. Uh, I still don't. I'm, I'm not full aggro still, but I think I have to try it like this. Alright, I'll keep this and. The question here is if uh, getting the attacking with the Glistener Elf is important enough. And yeah, I think the answer is no. I just want to play both my creatures on. Uh, all my creatures on turn two. So, getting Elf removed on turn 1, and then going Agent Hierarch is a lot better. Like, if, if I consider just the cards in my hand, I think I should start on Elf. But because I can also top deck cards that I want to use my mana for, I think it's Hierarch here. Which is why it's usually Hierarch, but I, I think it's definitely something you have to uh, look for to see if it's correct every time. This is one of the hands where I think it's very close. Alright, let's see what they have. I think they should remove this if they have it. The Totsies. They keep having Totsies early in the game and not later. It was pretty rough. Of course they were brainstorming a lot, so they could have just put them all away. But the early Totsies are definitely not great for me. Since they get to decide what they can or cannot play through. Get my damage in while I can, but uh, yeah, <laughs> getting one taunt sees the other uh, forced and then drawing lands is uh, it's gonna make this a tough one. We already lost the idea of uh, let's get aggressive. Um, 
Yeah, let's just do this before we do anything else. I think I want to play. Let me think. Just not a fetch land there. Gives me most options if if I have to brainstorm, fetch, cast a blue spell next turn, and keep something open. So I don't have my berserk, so it's unlikely that I just get them with this. So, Invigorate from the Wire Arc. I think that's worth it, but I don't think I want to give him life. Since it is... It truly is one of my plans now, to just beat him down with the Wire Arc. And I'll get rid of the Carnas. Uh, cancel that out the yield since I shouldn't out the yield to this when I have a pendle haven. So. Hmm. Does it activate the Nexus or just keep attacking them with a Noble Hierarch here? I think I attack them with a Noble Hierarch here. Fidelian Plink. My opponent is like. Playing a 2011 deck or something, and they're targeting me with the click. So either they misclick that, or their hand is like absolutely bonkers. I hope they misclicked it, <laughs> and I hope they don't find another code against command to rob me of my top deck again. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed playing this matchup, <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's fun. People just do what they uh, what they want to do. Billful tricks. They hadn't seen those yet, which I was pretty happy with. Scale up, we see. Maybe it was better just to attack with the Inquisitor next year. Sure. Hmm. Not if they're gonna offer their trade anyway. Didn't really have another way through this. Don't even have my berserks. Hmm, there's the key command. No, it's on top of your library. Yeah. So to find a land, I can I key command my cards and get the Bill of Strix back and play that. Which is pretty terrible for me. At this point, I really need like a poly glass, but then I'm only leveling it one per turn since I don't have my second white anymore. Hmm. There's a chance they only have the. I, I mean, I have to go for it, I think.
should have played this first. Ah, uh, no, I don't, I don't care if they discard me instead of getting a creature back. That's, that would be great. Alright, it's an artifact, of course. I suck it. Alright, 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 alright. Now this game is pretty much over. This is a Narset Jace. Another code against command. Yeah, those cards I haven't really seen play for like 10 years. Oh no, 3 years now. <laughs> and they're getting me good. Yeah. You got my code against command. I don't think I'm even winning it with good cards, but I think Piling Class one of my few outs to actually get through this. Um, Brainstorm is fine, but I really don't need these other two cards now. Can you have more of Mystic Sanctuary? So, oh, no. Okay. Let's definitely click. Sure. Yeah, those are things you can do. Yeah, like I said, this is not the, the greatest of matchups, and uh, I, I don't think I can c concede here. Yeah, I think it would be a bit dirty, but uh, now we're, we're almost getting to the points that I just don't have any outs anymore. I mean, this is one of the cards I've been waiting to see for ages, but they have still have the hard cost foe up, and uh, I'm taking six, so I'm just dead here. GG's opponent, GG's. I stood in no chance. Um, no, I guess you'll for the next round. Hope uh, I I get a better matchup than then. This this deck from three four years ago that's like just murdering me. So, get you folks.